It's Friday, January 26th, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is, There's Lifting for You. Our opening scripture is taken from Job 22, verse 29, and it says, When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Hallelujah. These days, it's not uncommon to hear statements like, I don't know what's going on. Things are going bad everywhere. People are generally discouraged. Don't join the bandwagon to talk like that. You are a child of God. Your life is different. You play by a different set of rules. Always remember that. Pastor says, Hallelujah. Or the Bible says, When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up. Did you notice that God tells us how we should respond when there is distress and gloom and men are cast down? He tells you what to say. There is lifting up. Oh, there is lifting power in you. Power to rise over and above the crisis of life. So, instead of joining the complainers, you ought to declare, There is lifting up for me. Glory to God. But when you say there is lifting up, what does it actually mean? It means to rise from a lower to a higher position, to elevate to raise in rank or condition. It also means to put an end to a blockage or siege by withdrawing or causing the withdrawal of invading forces. It means to revoke, prescind, lift an embargo, to pay off an obligation. So Pastor goes on to say, there is a lifting for you by the miracle power of God. Hallelujah. Is there something that's been weighing you down? Or is it a raise or promotion you are expecting at work? The Bible says, For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the south, according to Psalm 75 verse 6. That means it comes from God, yeah? Just know that there's going to be a lift. Glory to God. Maybe you made a mystic that landed you in the position you are in today. And you are wishing you did things differently. Well, the Lord is your riddance. Oh, set your gaze on Him. Don't look at the problems that may be before you. Set your gaze on high, on the Master. He lifts you out of that trouble. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 2 verse 8 of the New King James Version, He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. Blessed be God. Oh dear Father, thank you for your words to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, I thank you for the assurance of your lifting power In my life, I refuse to be discouraged by the challenges around me. Instead, I declare that I'm making progress, prospering, and waxing great in every area of my life. The greater one lives in me And he's made me bigger, greater, and superior to inflation, insecurity, sickness, disease, and the devil. I'm a victor in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. All right for further study. Psalm 146 verse 8 says, The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are weighed down. The Lord loves the godly. Psalm 27 verse 6 says, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. 
I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Then we have Psalm 3 verse 3. It says,